All experiments have been approved by the McGill University Animal Care Committee and were in accordance with the guidelines of the Canadian Council on Animal Care. The goal of this experiment is to deliver progenitor or stem cells into the mouse submandibular salivary gland through the cannulation of the Wharton's duct. For this video, Trippin Blue solution is used as a dye to visualize the cell infusion. Hypofunction of the salivary glands is one of the most common side effects of Sjogren's syndrome and therapeutic irradiation for cancer treatment in the head and neck regions. Malfunction of the salivary gland can often lead to dental diseases, such as infection of the oral mucosa and tooth decays. One innovative approach of regenerative medicine for the treatment of damaged salivary glands is the following. Stem cells can be directly deposited into the gland by cannulation via the ducts of the salivary gland as a potent method in reviving the functions of the impaired gland. Presumably, the migrated foreign stem cells will differentiate into glandular cells to function as part of the salivary gland. Here we illustrate the steps involved in performing the cannulation procedure on the mouse submandibular salivary gland via the Wharton's duct. For this experiment, the Trippin Blue solution is injected into the gland through the opening of the Wharton's duct with an Ultra Comfort 29 gauge needle and syringe. Subsequently, the mouse is dissected to show that the infusions migrated into the gland successfully.